Hello, people. I don't even know if um, this camera is that clean. I usually am very good about cleaning my camera, but okay, you guys. Um, I am in Kroger, and for those of you who watched my other video before um, about that test that I had in Kroger, um, that I told y'all that I failed. Okay. Well, um, God just gave me a, a, a post that I shared um, just a few minutes ago, actually. Hey, Marcel. Hey, ghost. Face. Face, 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 face. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, like I was saying, um, I remember I told you guys about the situation I had with the cashier who was super, super extra. And um, I was so frustrated and um, called the manager, went off, went all the way off, and um, was so wrong. And I knew that I had failed that test. Well, I haven't been back to the supermarket in a while, I'd say about two weeks. But I pulled up and I just... I just felt it. I said, okay, you know, I encourage some people to be careful um, and mindful of the enemy. But nevertheless, get to, to cut to the chase. As soon as I walk in, who do I see at the register? Of course. Of course. Well, I walked in and I'm like, okay, am I really going to put my advice where my mouth is? Am I really going to be the example that I um, tell other people that they need to be? Am I going to do that? Really, am I going to do that? Well, um, I started getting some stuff and I said, you know what? I said, my spirit said, you know you got to do it. You, you know you got to go and apologize, right? And I'm like really, really feeling sick to my stomach because, you know, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care who you are. Who likes being humble? Who likes going to apologize when they wrong? Okay, I'll wait for that one. I'll, I'll wait to see if I see somebody on here who really likes being um, so humble and putting their tail between their legs and eating that humble pie when they know that they didn't show their tail and now they got to go back and apologize. So, um, needless to say, I went up behind him. I asked uh, the woman who he was checking out if she'd mind if I would say something to him. And I said, I don't know if you remember me, but uh, we had an issue the other day. And um, I just want to let you know that I apologize because I should not have argued with you. You were simply doing your job. And um, I'm very, very sorry for um, yelling and, you know, getting angry. And so he, he was very, very calm and humble, and he just thanked me for apologizing. He said he even started apologizing for his response to me. And when the manager came over, he said he realized that he did some things or said some things that he shouldn't have said, um, but that he appreciated me coming and apologizing. And I told him, I said, that I needed to. I even apologized to the customer he was working with again. I said, listen, I'm, I'm apologizing to him, so please excuse me for a minute. And so... Um, but but nevertheless, he was so thankful that I came over. He almost couldn't even look me in the eye at first. So I'm only coming on here to share that when you act out of character and when you show your behind and when you do things, hey Armand, I love you, you know, that you really shouldn't be doing. When you have the opportunity to make it right, you need to do it simple. Of course there was a part of me praying that I didn't see him or that manager today. You know what it was? That's, that's pride. But as soon as I walked in the door, he was right there. And the spirit of God in me would not allow me to walk by and not make amends. So, um, thank you, Faze. Oh, I love you so much. Hey, Ma. Hey, um, Evangelist Frazier. So, Ma, you just um, tuning in. I'm telling everybody about how, you know, when I went off in the store that day and failed that test, how I just came back in here. And um, he was the first, that cashier was the first person I saw. And I just went and apologized to him. And I'm going to tell you how the truth. I feel so much better, y'all. I really do. Because even after the video, when I shared it with you guys to get it off my chest, 
I was still convicted. It was still bothering me. I'm going to Walmart, I'm going to other places, and it still, it still was bothering me. So, um, just want to share that. And um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this encourages somebody else to go and make something right when you know you were wrong. Don't let pride get the best of you. The Bible says pride comes before the fall. And in Proverbs it says six things the Lord hates, yea, seven are an abomination to him. And the first thing it says is a proud look. Pride is a killer. Pride, look, okay, I, I may have to, you know, do another message on that. But nevertheless, I'm glad I apologized. Thank God for the victory. And now I can walk in and out this store in victory. And now he'll be somebody that will have a nice relationship, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I just feel it. I feel it. So, love you guys. I hope this encouraged you. And as always, do everything that you can do to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Love you.